I brought a tea set that my grandma gave me. She had three granddaughters and three tea sets, and then she had a fourth granddaughter, which was a problem, but I got this tea set from her. So I just have always loved it and would like to know more about it. This is English bone china in a chintz pattern. Okay. Okay. Chintz describes a pattern that's heavily floral and often repeating. It yeah. was incredibly popular in England in the 1950s. It waned in popularity and as we got into the 70s and 80s, and Americans in their obsession with British history went and started buying chintz in England. Okay. And you could buy it at boot sales and auctions, and you could get pay very, very little for it. And you bring it back to America, and the Americans would eat it up. Yeah. <laughs> and so in the 80s and 90s, this stuff was selling for a lot of money. Okay. Then there's something that came about. It's called the internet. Mm -hmm. And so what you'll see is that everybody who had chintz went and put it on any number of sites that they could list things. Okay. And the, the supply went through the roof. And what does that do? It results in a lower sales price. So today we're having a story about history more than we're going to have a story about value, I'm sorry That's to say. Fine. I love it. It's from my gram. Now let's take a look at the way these items are marked and see if we can learn a little bit more about them. Now let's go to this piece over here first. And we see a stacked mark that says Grim Wade's Royal Winton Ivory England. Then let's go to over here to the other one and let's take a look at this mark. We have a round mark, Royal Winton Grim Wade's. Also says Somerset, and then there's some blue writing above. The blue writing above is more than likely the retailer who offered it from. Okay. Somerset is going to be the name of the pattern. Grimwades is the maker. I'll put that back. So if you brought this to market today, it's not insignificant in value, but if you brought it today as a collection, uh, as a tea service, I would estimate it at auction between, say, $400 and $600. That's great, because <laughs> I'm not selling. <laughs> What's interesting is that if we had brought it to market in the 90s, mm -hmm. it might have been $2,000. And that really gets into the point of the evolution of the marketplace and what's gone on in the trade over the last 20 years. Sure.